Hello to all the head besties in land. I'm here with my client of how many years? Five? No, it's longer than that. Six? We'll just say seven, because it's been seven, seven years. <laughs> Denny is her name, and check out how long her hair is. Now, your natural hair is about a level two, so it's like a uh, black brown. This is the base color we applied a year ago. This was once naked and dusty lavender mixed together. Totally ready for a new look. You don't really care? No, I don't. So, you ready to get started? Yes. Let's go, come on. All right, so now that we're inside, I want you guys to see what her color looks like in indoor lighting. It's pretty much black. You can see where I lifted her base with a level six ash. Last time, I kind of ombre and transition. I don't want to over highlight her hair because I don't want her hair to break. I actually prefer Benny's hair long as possible. So when hair is really dark and you're trying to lift into a level 10, 9, or 8, or 7, you're gonna expose some warmth. As it lifts, it'll turn red and orangey. We want to lift her up to around a level 6. So the only way to control it is by using an ash color. So the Shadow Ash Collection is able to mute out the brass and give it a beautiful control brown. I'm gonna use our new Shadow Ash Six. And what I'm gonna add is Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows is at a level five. Calibrate it with a lower ammonia level, so it's gonna prevent hot roots. So I am gonna use 20 volume. My first formula, I'm gonna apply only on the rootage. You don't want to over accelerate on the scalp. That's why I'm using 20 on the scalp and 30 in the mid shaft. Because the mid shaft is cold, you have to accelerate it furthermore to give it that boost. I'm gonna leave the hair naturally dark as possible so the transition looks more like slate. All right, so the second formula for our base color is Shadow Ash 7. Okay, so this is gonna be on her mid shaft. Now I'm gonna shift the volume of developer. So I'm moving up to 30 volume. I'm gonna apply the second formula through her mid shaft, starting from her nape area, working my way up, and transition into the previous base, just like this. Minimal product enables you to blend seamlessly. Keep the area nice and clean by applying a mesh sheet down. So now we're gonna process for 30 minutes. So I've got Benny over the shampoo bowl right now, but what's really important is that you don't want the ash color to bleed into the blonde. I grab her hair since it's very, very long. I'm just gonna tie it around her neck. It allows me to rinse out all of her base without bleeding onto the blonde. Look at that nice ash brown. It looks like it should be your natural hair color. Earlier, she had that demarcation line. Now look how integrated it looks. I am gonna use Big Nine with 40 volume. I don't want Big Nine to over lift her hair, so I'm gonna mix it one to two ratio with 40 volume. Now my goal is to connect the highlight so I'm not gonna highlight every single section. I'm gonna leave some out. So I'm gonna start on the left side of her nape here. Micro highlight it, and this will be a baby light, right? In the nape, I'm gonna take thin, fine slices, and when I move up to the top, I'm gonna do the baby lights. You have dimension. Let's take this thin section here, and we're gonna backcomb that up into the scalp edge. So with the big nine, I am gonna swipe it on the foil. I am gonna go ahead and drag this up and place it on top of itself. Because I find that sometimes when the hair is too long, it's too too cold on the ends and it doesn't lift. And then I'm gonna do a foil overlay. I'm taking about half an inch section until I get to the top. So I finished foiling her whole entire backside and then now I'm working around the side. I did leave a bunch of hair out. I want to incorporate her previous ombre into what we already done. So when she comes back, maybe six months later or a year later, I highlight around it. So now I'm working around her face. There's a little demarcation. I could choose to weave the hair, but I really want the pieces around her face to really pop. So I'm just gonna back comb this whole section in. Painting on the foil. So we're going at a diagonal foiling method and feather vertically. And I do about three back-to-back -back foils like this around the front of the face before I start skipping anything. All right, so now that we're up to the front, make sure it goes into like a V. This is very, very important when I say V. So I do one side first before I do the next. So the first couple slices around her face frame, I take thin pieces, no weaving here, but I am going to back comb. So I'm just going to lay the foils and do not not overlap whatsoever. I'm gonna do three back-to-back -back foils of slices before I start weaving baby lights in. So as we get to the top of her head, the density is a little bit different just due to the shape of her head. So now that I did the three back-to-back -back foils, this is where we're gonna do the baby lights. We're gonna do back-to-back -back baby lights. So there's no skipping. So I still take thin sections and I'm gonna micronize these highlights. You can see the stitching and only back home this piece and anchor it down. And then the next section above it, now we're doing everything back to back so make sure everything is thinly sliced just like this so it's been about 40 minutes wow so she lifted pretty light there it's mainly like about level nine now my goal isn't to lift her 
hair completely white. I just want to work with what's going on here. So I'm actually going to tone her hair back down. The fine hairs always look really nice and bright. Look how blonde that is. The formula with Eclipse is going to shadow any of this. And then I'm going to put the Misty Mop in through the ends. Alright, so full tube of Misty Mop. The Eclipse is what's going to give us color deposition. And you're going to mix 1 to 2 ratio with the Delicate Developer. 6 volume. So I'm going to slide, tap right into there. So that's going to indicate that that's the shadow root formula. So Misty Mop by itself. Misty Mop is a great toner foundation to mute out all the brass. Alright, so the one with Eclipse is going to have more shadow in it. This is going to be applied over damp hair. You can choose to leave it on for 5 or to leave it up to 25 minutes if you want to. The longer you leave it on, the more color deposit you're gonna get. Alright, so now I'm going on my second formula and dragging it down. It's okay to mix the previous formula and just kind of pull it in so there's a transition in between. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes in and you get to see how the color process. You can see the Misty Mop give it that depth of color. The mauve tone cancels out the gold and the yellow. So when we rinse this out, you'll see a lot of beige reflection with a touch of almost like a smoky lilac mauve tone, which is so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. We're not done yet. I'm gonna overlay a final gloss on top. So you can see where all of her highlight stitch marks are gone. But when you look at her ends, it just has that little bit of mauve beige tone, which is really, really pretty. We could literally stop here. But I like to do like a final overlay. I love using silver smoke to create like a smoky cast over like a brown base. When I say multi-levels, we're talking about six, eight, and 10. That's pretty epic. So there's so many ways to utilize it. I love to create a shadow root Anyway, even though her hair is already shadow rooted, I just want to make sure if there's enough pigment there so there is longevity. So second formula is going to be 8SS. And now our third formula, 10SS. So I'm just going to add a little bit of 10A. I'm going to apply the first formula on her retage. Now I'm on to formula two. I'm applying it only on the mid shaft and I'm leaving the ends out. So I'm applying the third final formula that I'll also apply it on the mid shaft too, just so it merged. My confidant shampoo actually brings clarity to your color. So after I rinse out the shampoo, I'm gonna spray on the new My Hero Collagen Repair Spray. Over 30% of our body has collagen in it, so the collagen helps repair the hair. After I rinse out the My Hero, Collagen repair treatment. I'm going in with my coconut conditioner. It has so much moisture and it feels really luxurious. Okay, Benny, tell me how you feel. I love it. I love this because it's like dark, but then it's kind of light at the same time. When you're dealing with hair as naturally dark as Benny, you have to go through multiple steps to lift it up just to bring it down. No matter which lighting we're in, it's pretty. Oh, look at this. The gradients. Okay, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell so you get all the notifications when I put up new videos. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>